Hi guys, Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. So it's just a really, really quick one today to say that I am officially, as of today, back on Slimming World. I'm not joining a group, I'm doing it at home again, like I did earlier in the year before I fell pregnant with Wilf. Um, I don't drive, there isn't one particularly in walking distance to my house and trying to get there with Wilf when Andrew works weird shifts, it's just a little bit too stressful I think. So I'm just gonna do it from home, as I did before, relying on knowledge I've already got and I really like the kind of Slimming World Instagram community. I will have my Slimming World Instagram linked below as I am also back up on that after today. Once I fell pregnant with Wilf, kind of just lost the plot with healthy eating as much as I had planned to continue. Um, but that's life, isn't it? Um, I've weighed myself today. I'm not going to tell you the exact figure because frankly, it is not good. Um, but I've just had a baby and I'm doing something about it. So what more can I do? But yeah, ideally I would like to lose three stone. Um, I think I would feel really good if I lost three stone. I'm probably a good stone and a half heavier than I was before I fell pregnant with Wilf and still then a stone and a half off where I wanted to be really. So yeah, three stone is the target and we will see how we go with that, see how we get along. Um, but yeah, I've just been to Asda, picked up the food shop and I thought I would quickly do you a food haul to start off the Slimming World update. Every Tuesday will be my weigh-in day and on a Tuesday I will do you an update. I will let you know how much weight I've lost or gained, what I've found easy, what I've found difficult. Um, but rather than doing a really long rambly update, I'm going to try and do more like what I eat in a day, food hauls, that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments any kind of Slimming World themed videos you would want to see. Um, yeah, so I'll show you what I've got for this food shop. It is from Asda and then I will leave it there for this video and see you for an update next week where we can see how I've got on in my first week. So I've spread it all out on the table as usual and I will just start on the left side and move across as that is easier and hopefully I won't miss anything. But I have got two packs of peppers. I eat tons and tons of peppers. They're like my favourite veg in the world. Um, I've got some jacket potatoes. That'll be good for lunches. I've got a pack of courgettes, I've got a pack of limes, I actually only ordered one um, but they substituted them for four so I can't argue with four limes for 30p. Um, we've got some laughing cow light triangles, I'm a bit of a cheese snob as we know and these kind of go against everything I believe in but I found a recipe that uses these and it did sound really good so I'm going to give it a go. Um, got some free range large eggs, a garlic, an avocado, which still annoys me and I know I'm own every time, but it's not free and it annoys me. Got some mixed chilies, got some baby corn and some tender stem broccoli tips for some kind of stir fry recipe thing I'm going to do. Have I done carrots yet? I don't know, but I've got some carrots. I have got the most interestingly shaped butternut squash ever. I mean, no comment required for this. Woo! But um, I actually ordered a pack of pre-prepared butternut squash because I hate preparing butternut squash, but they were out, so they substituted it for this interesting looking thing. Um, but that's fine. Got some bananas, got a lettuce, mainly for Andrew because he loves lettuce and sandwiches and wraps and things. Back up here, I've got some of the quark garlic and herb cooking cheese. That's meant to be really good for sauces. Um, I can't remember sins for everything. Everything in this haul is either sin free or low sin. I know this is maybe like one sin for the pot. I'd have to double check that. I've got some fat free quark, that's sin free. And I've got some, I never know how you say it, Eo Valley um, low fat sour cream, which again, I think it does have sins, but it's very low sin. I've got some Parmesan and some extra mature cheddar. I prefer to get quite strong cheeses. Um, when I'm doing Slimming World and anyway, but especially when I'm doing Slimming World because you aren't allowed tons, so I want to be able to taste it. Got some normal white potatoes. Um, we've got some green semi-skimmed milk. I know you can have more red milk, but I just don't like it. It just tastes like water. That's coloured white to me. So I've gone for green. Um, a six pack of Heinz baked beans because they are sun free and super easy for lunches. I've got loads of like veggie offering which are all sin free or low sin. Um, I am vegetarian if you didn't already know. So we've got some Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages which I believe are either half a sin or one sin each, I can't remember. Vegetarian pulled chicken which again does have sins but very very low. The vegetarian steak strips I believe are free. 
Um, vegetarian wafer thin ham is free. Vegetarian gammon steaks, I think, do have sins, but very low. Got some tofu, that's sin free. Two bags of Asda meat free mints, which I way prefer to the corn mints. I'm not a big fan of corn mints, but the Asda one and the Morrison's one is really nice, sin free. Three bags of corn pieces. I'm pretty sure I only ordered two. Um, I do really like corn pieces, I use them a lot. So I'm not complaining, but I'm sure I only ordered two. Um, so that is all the like meat alternatives. I've got a lot of passatis because I use it loads. They're all sin free and amazing for like pasta sauces, casseroles, anything like that. So I've got passat with basil, four of the smaller plain ones and two with chilli and peppers as they are great for actually making chilli. Oh, I've got some vegetarian pulled pork burgers, two boxes. These are one sin each and are great for burgers. But I'm also going to try something different with them. Um, follow me on Instagram and you will see what that is. As I'm not 100% sure yet, I'm going to make it up. I've got some frozen chopped basil and some frozen chopped parsley. I've already got the coriander in the freezer and these are amazing. They're so much easier. I also ordered the ginger one, but um, it was out of stock. So they substituted with this huge bag of ginger, which you actually get loads more. Um, it's nothing but ginger, so that should be sin free. Got some edamame soybeans, I absolutely love these in stir fries and curries and things, um, sin free. Some of the mini Mission Deli wraps, they're mainly for Andrew, I'm not sure on the sin value, but I'm not the biggest wrap fan, Andrew will have them um, for lunches and things. Got the obligatory fry light, sunflower oil, I thought I'd ordered olive oil, but whatever, not really fussed, they all taste the same to me. Um, I've got some boil in the bag white basmati, some boil in the bag whole grain rice. I way prefer on the whole the taste of whole grain rice and pasta to white, but obviously it's all sin free, so that's totally fine. Two of these Uncle Ben's Mexican style rices, which are great for like quick lunches. I can't remember exactly the sin value, but they're pretty low. I've got some Sherwood's fine egg noodles, um, again sin free and for good for like stir fries and things like that. Two packs of whole wheat spaghetti, two packs of whole wheat penne. Also got some pearl barley, which I really like for like casseroles and soups and things, and that is sin free. Got some cashew nuts, um, which I love using for my healthy extra B. I always use my healthy extra A without fail, but sometimes I don't use my healthy extra B. And I love cashew nuts for like snacking on or for putting in curries and things. I've got some sesame seeds, which I thought a recipe I'm going to try. And then I also got this silken tofu firm, which is from the cupboard section rather than the fridge section. And I've not tried this one before, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I've got two tins of kidney beans for chilies and things. I've got a tomato puree. I've got some pineapple slices. These are in fruit juice, so they're not free. But I'm only going to use like one and I'm going to make one day vegetarian gammon with pineapple, um, fried eggs and Slimming World chips. I've got some coconut milk light that I'm going to use to make a lentil dal. Got some vegetable stock pots. I've got some um, ticker curry powder, some normal medium curry powder, some hoisin um, sauce. That's not sin free, but it's for a recipe. Um, and then I've just got some kind of normal, non-slimming world things. I've got a deodorant, a toothpaste, um, another milk for Wilf, some ibuprofen and paracetamol, two little Christmas decorations, one of which is a squirrel because they were reduced to 20p. Oh, and I don't think I showed you some garlic salt. And that is everything for my first Slimming World food shop. Hopefully that will last us a little while. And I'm just really excited to be back. I'd got to that point where I was so sick of eating like crap, basically, that I'm just like really motivated and ready to go. If you are doing Slimming World and you have a Slimming World Instagram or you make videos, please do let me know in the comments. I would love to follow you and we can support each other. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.